Last time on Biography of a Man, Tim found a fancy new hat. Then he discovered a strange radio signal. That radio signal led him to the Brotherhood of Steel, namely Paladin Dance. After a quick mission to the Arcjack systems, and some <clears throat> expert hacking skills, Tim accidentally incinerated Dance. True to fashion, Tim ran away. Good job, Tim. Overcome with guilt, Tim walked the wastelands. He had no goal, no aim, no destination. He just walked. After some time, Tim happened upon an old junkyard. It looked ordinary enough. Strangely enough, Tim discovered a body dressed in peculiar green robes. Upon further exploration, Tim discovered four more bodies, all wearing similar robes. Tim took a set, just in case. Near the fourth body, Tim discovered an old computer. Perhaps your elite hacking skills can help here. Amen. Indeed. The more Tim read, the more intrigued he became. These children of Adam were an interesting bunch. They seemed to worship radiation or the causes of radiation. Bunch of nutters, if you ask me. Tim decided he could find a purpose among these people and resolved to find them. He'd better get a radiation suit first. Tim decided Diamond City would be a good source of information. Diamond City was just as busy as Tim remembered. Surely one of these fine people could tell him about the children of Adam. Most people didn't know. Huh? What? Some thought he was mad. The children of Adam? Are you crazy? At least one person was helpful. Hey yo, children of Adam? Yeah, I know them. They're in the glowing sea. Gonna want to get some radiation protection before you go, though. Tim made sure to mark the location on his map. With that done, he decided to check the local apparel store for a radiation suit. Uh, hello. Have you been here before? Nope. First time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door is right there. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. I'll take a look, sure. A paying customer, finally. Good thing for Tim, she did have a suit. Strangely, she accepted bottle caps as currency. Luckily, Tim had been collecting them as a hobby. How do you carry so many bottle caps, Tim? So Tim purchased the suit and left. Tim headed toward the front gate. He knew this was going to be a long trip. But this was nothing new to Tim. He had made long trips before. The glowing sea was truly like another world. The radiation was so dense, Tim could even feel it through the suit. Mm -hmm. 
Are you sure you want to be here, Tim? I guess that's your answer. Radiation wasn't the only danger Tim faced in the glowing sea. You'd better run, Tim. I wouldn't bother that one, Tim. Oh, jeez, get out of there. There's more of them? Yeah, I don't blame you for that one. Just go, Tim. After many a heroic escape, Tim reached the final leg of his journey. This must be their camp. What an eyesore. May the glow of Adam guide your path. Hi. In the end, we are all Adam's children. May Adam bless you with his glow. <clears throat> the world will be shown Adam's glory. May the glow of Adam guide your path. Some colorful people here. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Adam's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Holy ground? Adam? What's going on here? Adam reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. I'm here to worship Adam, just like you. If that is true, then you may stay. But know that if your heart is false, Adam will see, and you will suffer his wrath. Tell me more about Adam, if you would. Adam gave birth to this world, and all worlds. And within this world, he gave us the promise of infinite rebirth. We are, all of us, universes without count, waiting for the division to bring them all into being. We spread Adam's word and his gifts to those throughout the Commonwealth. They will see the truth of Adam's glow. Now that you know they are not us, can we please leave, Tim? No, Tim, what have you what are you doing? Stop that. You're another two, I see. I need to speak with you. What do you need of me, child? How have you survived in all this radiation? That is Adam's unique gift to us, the true believers. He has brought us here to this place. A place that cannot harm us, so that we may worship him, so that we may spread his word to others. That is our calling, to deliver Adam's message to a world that does not wish to hear it, to show Adam's power to all. I guess you're just not a true believer, are you, Tim? So, Tim put his suit back on. We must suffer to truly feel Adam's embrace. To lay broken before him and feel the gentle wash of the glow. Tim decided that this the just wasn't the place for him. I think that's enough radiation for one lifetime, Tim. At least that's the stupidest plan you could have come up with.